Hello, hello, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie. I'm Julie Davidson from Champaign, Illinois, and this is my mama, Susan LaCroix. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy I live Sunday. in Wyandotte, Michigan, and Julie is my daughter. That way. <laughs> <laughs> We're recording this on Zoom, but Sunday Stamping is our weekly video series to share new projects with you each month. And we focus on different products and, sh and then each do a project. We focus on different products and each make a project to share with you. Oh my gosh. I think I need okay. more sleep. It was a busy day. Yesterday was our um, 16th annual Vacation Stamping School Demonstrator Training Event. And Ooh, it was virtual this year, so most of the work was done ahead of time, but it was still just was a long day of the live stream. Mom, did you enjoy all the training yesterday? Oh, I, I really did. And I, I said to your dad last night, I don't know why I'm so tired. I sat in my chair and pretty much watched all day, but I was exhausted. I think it was just the anticipation. You know, our presentations were, you know, going live and all that stuff. And, but I mean, you, you were in the control room, so... <laughs> Well, Meg did all the controlling, but uh, just just all the follow up, and I felt yeah. exhausted too. It was just a lot of content. We had twelve yeah. different demonstrations in the demonstration fair, and then they were awesome. Um, oh, they eight, were. So I good. I think eight business presentations. So it was just a lot to take in. Yeah. I wrote down lots of notes, and I'm so inspired. And now I feel like I want to buy everything in the catalog right? that I didn't think I needed. Yep. <laughs> But I feel like we have some fun ideas now to work from as we plan our Sunday stamping video series. So I definitely yeah. feel inspired and cannot wait to share some of those ideas that we learned. Yeah, next week. Yes, yes, next week. Well, let's jump in today and see what product we are highlighting. I'm going to switch the camera over to my desktop. That's my spotlight. Here we go. We're doing Halloween this week. We're using the cute Halloween suite from the um, 2021 um, July through December mini catalog. So this suite has a six by six paper pack, some ribbon, these tombstone, um, isn't that what they're called? Yeah, <laughs> tombstone treat boxes. And then the cutest Halloween um, stamp satin bundles. So let me show you here in person. By the way, that was on page 50 and 51 in the catalog, if you want to check that out. So this paper is seriously the cutest. Like, I can't think of any better word to describe it. And that is literally what it's called, Cute Halloween. This is a six by six paper pack, so it comes this size. There are um, eight different patterns, so you get six of each sheet. And of course, they're double-sided. So this time we've got these beautiful colors, Highland Heather, Old Olive, Flirty Flamingo, Basic Black, Pumpkin Pie. And we've got just the cute Halloween critters, the cat and the pumpkin and the ghost. And then the other side is all black and white patterns. And a lot of these I feel like you can use for other occasions besides Halloween, the stripes and the polka dots. I mean, maybe not the skulls <laughs> and the bats, but um, some, of, some of them can be versatile for other occasions. So uh, cute Halloween paper and then the cutest Halloween stamp set. Now this is really fun because it's a punch bundle. So it has the three images that it pun punches out, the pumpkin, the cat, and the ghost. So the only one that's missing from the punch is the skull, uh, but the other images will all punch out with the punch. And we've got the two two-step stamps so you can add those and do different colors. So I'm gonna show you this on my project. Other things in the suite include these cute star adhesive back sequins. So these are really fun. Orange, Highland Heather, and Basic Black. So again, I feel like you could use those for other occasions too. And then this super fun, um, grow green ribbon. No, what is it called? Uh, that's not the word. Gingham, gingham ribbon, the other G. <laughs> um, gingham ribbon, black and white. And this definitely um, can be versatile and used for other, other things. So this is the cute Halloween suite. Let me show you just a couple cards really quick um, that I have created. This one, I, I punched right from the designer paper. And then I love coordinating the black glitter paper. It's a carryover product. So it's not featured on the sweet page, but it goes so well with this cute Halloween, um, cute Halloween bundle. And then this one with the ghost, really simple using that designer paper, three by three on top, one and a, and a half by three on the bottom. And then, oh, I love this one with the little 
with a cute little window, ghoulish delights. I don't know about pink for Halloween, but it's in the paper. So I went with it. What do you think, mom? Pink for Halloween? Uh, not my favorite choice, <laughs> but it's cute. It's a cute card. Oh, so some little girl who loves pink is going to love pink for Halloween. Did you see this one, mom? This is the never I ending did. card. Oh my goodness. I actually found a video from Stampin' Up! this week um, that had measurements and showed this really? card. It was from like 2011 in the archives on the Stampin' Up! Um, on the Stampin' Up! page. So we'll share a link to that in our video description, the Stampin' Up! video, so you can check out how to make this never ending card. I think in the video, they call it like a fancy fold or something like that, but it is super fun. So we'll share the link so you can make that at home. Well, let's get started. Today, we're not gonna make cards. We're actually gonna share with you some treat containers using the um, Halloween, cute Halloween suite. So mom, let's get started okay. with you. So I'm gonna flip the camera over to your desk all right that's not halloween so, mom what's going on no it's not halloween but <laughs> i'm using <laughs> i'm using the pretty pillow box dies that are in the peppermint gingerbread suite um because i thought that might be kind of fun so i want to just put it out it's on page nine it's part of this the the suite uh gin gingerbread and peppermint i keep saying peppermint and gingerbread but you can see here some really cute little pillow boxes uh, for Christmas. So oh, let's nice. see what we can do for Halloween. Now, All this right. is another die I haven't played with. Last week, you showed the Give It A Whirl dies, and I hadn't played with those. This week, I have this die. They gave it to us when we were in Maui, and I haven't used it yet. So I can't wait to see your <laughs> tips and hear how to use this. Whoa, OK. Well, uh, <laughs> no pressure. Well, it's been a little bit of a challenge because this is a smaller pillow box than I'm used to working with. So, oh. but, but it's okay. It, it'll work. Just uh, patience. <laughs> so, anyway, here is the die. So this big guy is the box and it comes with some real fun little accessories. There's these three, <laughs> if I can pick it up, there's three of these and, and you can, um, when you're, when you've got your die on your card stack, you can line up any one of these to give you a different edge. Oh. And I would just recommend you put a little piece of washi tape or something um, just to hold it in place. But you've got a couple label dies, got three label dies, and then you've got some um, poinsettias, which <laughs> are for Halloween. And um, <laughs> Hi, Ruben and Bella. Ruben and Bella. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so that is, um, that's the dies that I'm going to use. All right, I'm gonna put these aside. And I die cut out um, a white one. I've got some other samples I'm going to show you, but um, you'll notice that I have this um, the the little holes <laughs> on this. So what I did was I I um, cut out another just the edge of it, just because I want to have the orange peeking through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can. You can do one of you can use it just straight to the edge, or you can um, have a little, you know, have it come all the way down and meet the whole thing. Um, I haven't decided which way I'm going to do it yet. And actually, Julie, um, surprise, surprise, I, I just cut out some elements for this. I haven't done it yet. So I thought I'd do Ooh. it on camera. So it's either going to be wonderful or an epic fail. <laughs> so. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Hey, I have to ask. <laughs> What size paper do you need to cut the pillow box? Can you cut it from a half a sheet of cardstock or six yes. pieces? Yes, you can cut it from a half a sheet of cardstock and you'll have some left over. Okay. So if you just put it on the edge then you'll have some scraps to use for other things, so. Will it fit on a six by six as well then? Or is that not long enough? Uh, let me find out. Yes, it will. Oh, perfect. And I should know that because I use this on one of them. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, anyway, so yes, it will fit on a six by six. Okay. All right. So um, I am going, there's a score line here um, on the card. I don't know if you can see it on camera real well, but that's going to fold your front flap. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Probably not on the white, but you can see it on the orange, right? I, not yes, really i can see it okay. on the orange mm -hmm. okay so that's what would get, normally get folded down to make your front flap okay so i'm going to cut along that score line 
while I decide what else I'm doing here. <laughs> You're pulling a Julie. This is sort of my MO. <laughs> I figure it out at the last second. Oh, that's okay. All right. So, um, and I did cut an extra one just in case I screw up something. <laughs> okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and line this up and just have it um, kind of peek through there. So I'm going to put some of my favorite adhesive on here. You just want to be careful that you don't put glue so that they'll peek through the holes. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, before I fold this, well, boy, see, this is what I've been debating. Let me do a little bit of stamping. This is what I'm thinking. As I, I went ahead and I punched out some pumpkins from the designer series paper. Thank you. And I have the candy corn from the stamp set. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking I would just kind of, well, I'm going to try this. It may, it may not work, you guys, but I'm going to try it. So um, I'm going to start the fold. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want to make sure. So this will be my front, right? Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, you know what? I think I need to cut this back a little bit. So probably like just inside the score line. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to have to try to do this. So I'm going to... Um, <laughs> try to get the curved edges. That's the trickiest part about these pillow boxes in this. Um, I will tell you that using designer series paper is a little tricky because it's so thin. Oh yeah. And the, our basic white is, is not the thickest in weight or the heaviest in weight either. So you want to just try to get the, um, the sides. I at least want to have an idea before I put any design elements on. If that makes any sense. This is a cute little box. Like how, what kind of candy yeah. can you put inside of it? Um, well, you know, there's not a lot of Halloween candy out yet that I could find. Um, I found some Hershey, um, oh, I didn't even bring any over here, but I'll show you from another box. Um, some little Hershey miniatures. Okay, uh, I did. Mm -hmm. I did buy some of the lint truffles, but they're too too bulky. Okay, uh, but I I wonder if Ghirardelli's would fit. They they might fit. That looks about right for that. Yeah. Okay, so if this is my front, yeah. See, I I think I'm gonna have to. I'm thinking out loud to myself here because once this flap comes down over the front and I heard about a trick of using, um, you can use a bone folder or another tool of some kind. And if you just kind of curl the front flap, mm. it'll, it'll uh, come down a little bit better. Okay. So my idea was to put a pumpkin here. I don't know if that'll work. That might be, it might be a little bit too, what do you think, too much? I'm thinking too much, hey? Um, I don't know what else you're thinking. Like, Candy I think corn. it looks okay. All right, well, I'll tell you what, let me, I'll start with the back. Because I know I can get a couple of these on the back. Okay, so you want to be careful of your orientation. So knowing that um, that this is going to be oriented this way. So now I can I feel like I can glue my pumpkins on.
And this is going to have to dry a little bit. So I want to get the pumpkins on first. Yeah. Oop, I have a bent, a bent guy here. And I'm only going to put two on because. All right, while that dries, I'm going to stamp a little bit of candy corn and pumpkin pie. Hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Do I want to do that? Sure, why not? <laughs> Just commit. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right. So that'll be the back of our little box. Okay. So I'm going to turn this over now because this will be the front. So I'm going to have to turn this this way. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the question now. Let me see. I just use this as a kind of a. What if you put the pumpkin on the flap, like in the center? Oh well, see, it's kind of big. Oh. That would have worked if I didn't have that, which okay. would have been cute too. But I um I committed with the the little lacy thing here. I think I'm just going to stamp some candy corn on it. Okay. All right. So then this will be this way. Close enough. All right. I'm done. I'll save those. All right. So let's try to put this guy together now. Adhesive wise. Um, you could use liquid glue, but it really, I think it really needs to have some strong adhesive for this. So I'm going to lay this this way. And I brought out um, the Seal Plus, which is a little bit stronger than the regular Seal. Mm -hmm. Something on here. And I'm just going to put a... Um, just one and bring this up and match it up. And you want to put your finger kind of in here to hold this. And let it really kind of bond. I think that I think this little box requires just some patience. <laughs> So it usually with the pillow box, the sides kind of hold in on their own, but I guess with this one being open on the long side, it probably doesn't do that then, huh? Uh, no, it really doesn't. But I was thinking last night that um, I wonder what would happen if, um, if I used my Velcro dot on the side and glued this shut and so it could be opened on the side. Mm. I thought about that last night, but anyway, so this is kind of the, what I was looking for, but I was hoping for a little pumpkin on here. Um, and then yes. the Velcro dots. Um, I'm gonna cut this off here. I got some big black ones and on one of these, I think I used the black one and it's just too big and it's oh. kind of coming apart. So let me just cut this off. I think I have Velcro dots somewhere. I'm going to have to dig those out. Well, that was like those wobbles you showed. I was like, oh man, I got to go on Amazon and order <laughs> some of those. And I was looking for Velcro dots in a drawer and came across a box or a bag of those wobbles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I like to kind of, put my hook and eye or Velcros together and then peel off and put this on here. And then take the other adhesive side off. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong way to do that, but. And then sometimes you kind of just have to reach inside and kind of push things out again. Yeah. 
It's so cute. It is, but see how that's coming up with that, huh? How oh, about... maybe just a little extra adhesive around the. Yeah, I think so. I think what I'm going to do is maybe try a glue dot because they're right here. Let's see if I can. Oh, man. Yeah, I may have to work with this a little bit. That's what I get for doing this on camera. I'm not uh, practicing. But anyway, <laughs> there it is. It's cute. I love it. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Let me show like, you some other ones. Pardon? Yeah, you could make like a little purse out of it. I totally see like a little purse with a ribbon for a little girl. You know, yeah. yes, I um, I thought of that too last night, um, a ribbon, but cute. Um, but I have these done. So, All right, let's see. So this is the one I did using the designer series paper. Oh, I like the stripes. And I just put a little pumpkin on the back. The little of our baker's twine. And on this one, I've got a couple of these little Hershey nuggets. So yeah. those fit in. Oh, look at you just popping right up. I may have to glue you shut. <laughs> so there's that guy. And then I did another white one, but I die cut another one out of the designer series paper. And just, I just wanted the, um, the, <laughs> I'm taking it there. Go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just wanted, um, I wanted it to be mostly white with just the boo. Um, and then the greeting, of course, is hey, boo. Cute. And then I used some of the gingham ribbon, but what I did. Oh, did you color it? I did. <gasps> I did, I did, I did. So let I me show you very that. quickly. Um, I'm just going to cut off a little hunk here. And I'm, I'm taking my dark pumpkin pie blend and using the brush tip. And you can do as long a length as you want. And it dries oh pretty gosh. quick. And it's really easy. So you can pretty much get any color ribbon. I've done this with our crinkled ribbon um, and a few other ribbons too. But yes, so that's very quickly how that's you awesome. can um, color ribbon. So that's what I did on this guy. And so I, I actually kind of glued it, glued the ribbon on under there and then came around and tied it in a bow. I love that you can open that without having to untie the bow, right? Like you just yeah. lift up the flap. Yeah. Okay. So wait, how many Hershey miniatures? I'm trying to get an idea of size. You got two in there? I've got two, but let me pull out another one and see if we can squeeze three. I don't think that's, we can. That's a lot smaller than I thought. Yeah, it, it is small. And it's, it's so it's a little bit trickier to work with just because of the size of them. Yeah. But it's not going to stop me from using it. Cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And wait a minute. Let's see. I got one more. So this one I did in black and I used um, polka dot. I did a <gasps> belly band and polka oh, dot fine. with some of the glimmer paper underneath it. And I just tied up a glimmer ribbon bow for the front. I love And then that. I did the witch's hat and some of our stars. Now the witch's hat is from a different stamp set. It's in the same suite though. Is, that's uh, oh, from the clever cast. Clever cast. Yeah. Clever cat. So I just thought a witch's hat with some of the stars and just to glam it up a little bit. So those are my, um, I'll bring this guy back in here, but he keeps popping open. <laughs> so those oh, are the it. pillow boxes that I did. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, did, them. <laughs> I did do one more project that I, it actually, one of my team members, Barb Hopper, um, Price, she's been with me for many, many years. And she, um, we used to travel together to Stampin' Up! events. And uh, we, we had kind of a little thing that we did. Um, one of us would always buy Hostess Snowballs. Oh. <laughs> and so at our meeting last week, she brought one over and showed it to me. And I, I don't remember, I didn't take a picture of hers, but um, I thought, what a cute idea. So I went to the store and of course I had to buy a box because you couldn't just buy a package, but <laughs> They had so some orange ones. And so oh. um, I think she just used stays out and stamped a pumpkin face on the cellophane itself. I just did a little pumpkin. And then oh, I just well. made a little uh, bag topper with some of the polka dot paper, some more of the glimmer paper, treat yourself, and some of the stars. So that oh, was just cute. a fun little thing. Um, that I thought I would just share with y'all. Yes, I forgot about your little tradition. Did you eat one yesterday during oh, vacation did. stamping school? <laughs> no, actually, I didn't. Um, I um, 
I had, we had, um, Norma came over, one of, my, one of my team members, and we had some vegetables and some deviled eggs and some sub sandwiches and uh, chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so, no, I, so I did not have a snowball after all that. So anyway, these are mine. And uh, Julie, I'm ready to toss to you. So are it, are you ready? Fun. I am ready. <laughs> Julie. Last week, I promised you that I was going to make some Halloween penguins because you did a Halloween sheep. And so <laughs> I use the penguin place stamp set. Really, I was just using like the, the eyes and the nose. And then I used the builder punch. So the body of the penguin is the bigger one. And then the white part is the smaller one. So I did our penguin in black, like a traditional penguin. I added using the punch. <laughs> and then I used the glitter paper. I used the tree punch and the double oval punch. Let me show you. The tree punch is actually like it has branches and I, I punched it and then I just cut those branches like I just used my scissors and cut straight. Um, and then I thought, wouldn't he be cute dressed up as a flower? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't decide which flower I liked better, the tulip or the, or the daisy. And then I thought, oh my gosh, he needs so that he can be a butterfly. So I didn't get a chance to make a card yet. So I need everybody to vote in the comments Oof. which costume they like for our little penguin so that I can oh, make man. a card. Which one's your favorite, mom? I don't know. I love the spark. I love sparklies. So I like the butterfly. <laughs> I love the witch. Oh my gosh. Oh! That's adorable. <laughs> I, you know what? I'm going to go with the witch. The witch. That's my vote. Yep. Okay. But you know, Julie, the little daisy one, you could even do do uh, like different colors and make a turkey. Oh yeah, I was also thinking you look like a lion, like. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I uh, was just fun. getting started. <laughs> I did this this morning after I finished my project, and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot show up without Halloween penguins because I promise. <laughs> So that's what I came up with. And of course, my girls are like, oh, I want to make a penguin. <laughs> so cute. Okay, but that's not what I'm going to show you today. Today, we are going to use the cutest Halloween. And I wanted to show you the, um, the tombstone box today. And so um, this comes, they come flat and there's two pieces. Um, there is one that is smaller than the other. Can you see that? It's like just barely smaller. Um, and so you need a bottom and a top. Um, so when you're putting your box together and I actually was inspired by the catalog. Let me show you really quick. There's a sample in the catalog where they cut a window um, in the front. And I thought, well, that's, Clever because here's one that's put together and it's like it's just like a big space to fill so I sort of liked the idea of the window so I used the um seasonal label dies this is the one in the painted Christmas suite so it has a, a few different labels so I used this one and I die cut that now the top of the box is the bigger of the two pieces so you want to die cut your window in the bigger one. So I just did that through the big shot. I was kind of surprised. I wasn't sure it was going to go through because it's so thick, but it was no problem at all. And I cut that out. So then you can save that for another project. So these are a perfect are, size. I know, you know, I, this is a lot bigger than the, um, the pillow box. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to show you how many chocolates will fit into it. <laughs> Um, this box is also really, really sturdy. It has these adhesive strips that are already on it. So you don't I need any it. additional adhesive. So you just fold those in and then fold this up and around and it reinforces. So it's really, really heavy duty there. You've got um, like the two, the two cardboard pieces and then the sides in the middle. So it's very sturdy, very well constructed and well-made. I was really impressed with these um boxes we had some similar boxes in the last catalog i think that were the same kind of quality yep we sure did and this box has this um 
this gray sort of um, textured print on all of the sides. So you can cover it with designer paper, but I think it, you know, it's pretty just the way it is. So I'm going to do a little dress up, but before I do the dress up, I wanted to fill it with some candy. So just like you, I actually did find a little bit of Halloween candy that was out. I found oh. this, um, Ru Russell Stover caramel brownie. I kind of liked Yum. the little pumpkin and that fits in there. Um, <laughs> probably could fit too, if you wanted to, because it's a pretty deep box. Um, but what I ended up going with was some Hershey nuggets and, uh, um, and let me, let me show you like the box or the picture in the catalog is, <laughs> it's deceiving. It looks like there are six Hershey nuggets in there. Okay. So let's, let's arrange them really quick. <laughs> um, and you can see the problem that I had, um, Ah. There, there's five and, um, and it doesn't fit. <laughs> so at closer glance, they either trimmed this or that looks like a little mini lifesaver roll. Oh, so the picture in the catalog is not Hershey nuggets, but that's okay because I just stacked them like, oh, there you me. go. <laughs> uh, and so you can fit two rows of four so eight nuggets sideways and then there's a little bit of extra room and so i did like that okay and and these you don't see when it's closed so like there you go now i did not on my finished project i did not add a window sheet here so like if you're jostling it around those are going to fly right out of the window um but you could add that if you wanted to have it be more contained. I did dress up my, um, I did dress up my chocolates with a little strip of designer paper. So I used a piece of one by three inch of the cute Halloween paper and um, just put some adhesive on one side and then wrapped that around and glued the paper onto itself. So there's no adhesive going on the wrapper at all. It's just going right back onto the paper to dress up your nuggets. So you can do this with all the different patterns of paper. Um, and that's kind of like what they show here where they wrapped, wrapped it around um, the candy and really cute. Oh, I just noticed this paper is black and white. And do you see how they colored it? They did with probably a blend. That is so clever. Actually, that's the paper I've got right here. Well, it's yeah. too late now to color it, but um anyway so i did those across the top and then um to decorate i did a little bit of stamping so this punch as i mentioned does have the pumpkin and the cat and um the ghost all in the same punch and if you want to you can just use little strips of paper and feed them in but i wanted to um i wanted to stamp and punch them all at the same time to be you know conservative with my paper so here's a little tip i punched out the I punched out the the punch okay and so when the paper is going to go in the ghost is on the left and the pumpkin is on the right so that's how i put it down here on my desktop and now i'm going to take the stamps and I'm, I'm putting them upside down so that the side that's going to attach to the block is um is up and i'm going to line them up in the punch and then take my block and put it over the stamps so that all the stamps are going to be in the right place. Great tip, Julie. Great, great tip. <laughs> and then when you stamp, you can punch all of them at once. Ta-da! Ta -da! So I've got my ghost and my cat and my pumpkin. And then there are little accessory stamps so that you can decorate them. So for the pumpkin, I'm gonna use the, um, the, the orange solid part and I'm gonna add a little green on the stem. For the ghost, I'm going to add the face. There is a solid part for the ghost and I've seen some ghosts that were um, like where they did purple or um, gray or something like that. But I kind of like uh, just having a white ghost. And then there's a jack-o'-lantern face too. So I'm going to add that onto the pumpkin. 
And while I have my ink pad out, I have a little tag. This is the label me fancy and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do trick or treat on there. So I've got my pieces to add to my box. Ta-da! I've got my cute wrapped Aww, candy. Cute. I added some ribbon and some cute stars. And now I'm just going to take that ghost and, uh-oh, where did I put my stamp and dimensional? Here we go. I'm going to add the ghost at the top. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I love the way it nice. turned out, but I, I yes, I, I do too. I know you included one in your product share as well, a tombstone yes. box. So anyone who got the product share is going to have one of these tombstone boxes. But if you are not a Halloween person, I want to just show you just really quickly another option. You can cut off the um, the the tombstone part, and, um, and and then you just have a really cute gray box. So I cut it off the top and the bottom, and then I just added a little belly band of designer paper. And this is the beautifully penned, and I colored a couple of the flowers with the Fresh Freesia Stampin' Blends. And then a little bit of ribbon. I used the same punch to make a smaller tag. So I punched oh, yeah. it, and then I put it back in and punched it again. And then a little black glitter paper. So whether you're using the Tombstone Box for Halloween or not, there are lots of ways to customize and make it your own awesome those are great jay oh thank you i'm happy with the way they turned out let me switch the cameras over so we can show off our projects together all right mom i'm gonna add you first replace spotlight there you are and i only have two hands <laughs> add me i know i was just thinking i'm not sure i'm gonna hold my tombstone up without it falling <laughs> without it falling over yeah, I'll oh put this guy down and so we'll just kind of do some of these. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Okay. Say cheese, mom. Cheese. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a screenshot of that later. Oh my God. Ah, there it goes. It fell right out. I should have done the little window sheet. Okay. Instead, I'll hold up my penguin because he's so cute. Oh, oh so <laughs> cute. And I'll try to hold this guy up and maybe hold him shut. Oh, there you go. I, I, I'm glad you showed how to use those dies to do the little, um, the little eyelid in the front. Cause that is so pretty. I love that little detail yeah, on there. It is. Doesn't really quite go with Halloween, but I wanted to use it. I, I think it does. It, so. Sure. Yeah. And our little pumpkins on the back. So cute. I can't wait to try that pillow box die. I'm glad that you showed it. So now I feel like I can I can just dig in so many times I get so much stuff and then like I don't even know where to where to begin so it's always yeah. it's always good to get some inspiration and now that I've seen your boxes I want to give them a try and go make go make some pillow boxes I might do that this afternoon <laughs> there you go I gotta go phone shopping this afternoon so <laughs> oh well I think that making pillow boxes will be more fun than phone shopping <laughs> I, I do believe you're right. Oh. Um, you know, I have not, um, Dan and I, we just don't really go out shopping anymore, especially yeah. after the pandemic. And I, it's probably been a couple of years since we've been to a mall. So we, we did go a couple of times. The girls wanted to go to Claire's uh, over the summer and pick out earrings or something like that. But it had been a long time. It had been yeah. a long time since I was in a mall. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Your dad said he wants to look at some dress shirts. And so, you know, we might, we might go to a venture to another couple stores, but. <laughs> well, yeah. it sounds like you've got a day cut out for you. We do. We absolutely do. And the kids, how was their first day of school? I never got the oh chance my gosh. to call them. I totally forgot. They did start school on Thursday. So um, everything went well. It went very smoothly. They don't want to be back at school. Um, <laughs> of course, they'd rather stay home, right? And play out play all day um but everything went fine the first day tom's got a little schedule conflict things he's trying to work out um but we've got two in middle school and two in high school 
and a that's senior. He's sort a of senior. blows my mind. <laughs> blows my mind. Yeah. It's going to be a good school year Crazy. though. I, I'm, is. I'm excited for them to be back. And I think that they are too. They just would rather be home all day. Get And, yeah. and, and the early mm-hmm. schedule is it's going to be an adjustment for me as well. Like I don't sleep in that long. Like I usually get up around seven 30 in the summer, which I think is, you know, a decent time, but we have to get up at six 30 because they need to be like catching the bus at seven 20. So, um, getting up an hour earlier is painful. <laughs> it's oh. just an hour, but painful. It means I have to go to bed earlier so I can get enough sleep. So that is going to be the challenge. <laughs> Well, um, we better get on with our busy days. You have boxes yes. to make and I have a phone to buy look for. So. <laughs> well, you have a I good day be- and a great week, mom. I can't wait you to too, stand Julie. with you again <laughs> next yep. week. And thank you all for tuning in to watch yes, with us today. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed absolutely. our absolutely. Don't forget to vote for your favorite penguin costume in the comments and let us know what kind of stuff you would like to see in future videos. We'll see you next week. Bye. (laughs) Bye.